Plastic surrounds us every day and is an innovation to technology. However, it does not benefit the environment. Unlike other materials, plastic takes hundreds of years to biodegrade, or it doesn't biodegrade at all. Plastic is all around us, and we use it in our everyday lifestyle, making it easier to end up in the ocean. One of the many ways that plastic ends up in the ocean is through littering. Either from people littering on the beaches or city streets to it traveling through the sewage system. The amount of litter in the ocean is gradually increasing, making it more likely for it to harm an animal. Another way that plastic ends up in the ocean is through microbeads. Microbeads are tiny circular pieces of plastic that are found in beauty products such as toothpaste and face exfoliants. Any product that includes polyethylene or polypropylene indicate that the product includes microbeads. One tube of facial wash could have up to 300,000 microbeads in it. In order to get a perspective on the situation, an experiment was conducted on a tube of toothpaste separating the microbeads in the actual product from a tube of crust toothpaste. The result was horrifying, finding almost a quarter of the test tube full of microbeads. When plastic ends up in the ocean, the currents carry them around the world and they can possibly end up one of the plastic gyres in the world's oceans. Like a blender, the plastic is shredded into smaller pieces until a point that they are microscopic, making it easier for fish to mistake it for food. It currently, it's estimated that over 90% of sea turtles have plastic in their stomachs. Over 90% of seabirds have plastics in their stomachs. Wow. Um, commercial fish, or fish that we eat at, uh, in the U.S. have been, um, you know, dissected and at, just at the regular um, fish markets, over 30% of the fish being sold have plastic in their stomachs. In order to see how plastic is affecting fish in the Bahamas, an experiment was conducted, examining the contents of fish stomachs that were fished in the Bahamian waters. Two mahi-mahi, a yellow tail, and a snapper stomach were examined. The results of this experiment were shocking. Three out of four fish contained bits of plastic in their stomachs, including microbeads. Although it is a small amount of plastic, it shows that plastic is affecting our fish and will continue to worsen. Then what you, um, I'd recommend is to observe and limit your own plastic use. Um, challenge yourself maybe for a week to really look at how much plastic is in your life. Um, and from that, uh, then, then start making some individual choices how you can reduce it, um, how you can use it thoughtfully instead of thoughtlessly. And then the, ne the next phase would be what you're doing right now is to participate after you understand the problem and you're kind of taking a look at your own life and, and start moving towards a direction that, that you're individually making positive change. Um, participate, and sometimes people are drawn into petitions and, and helping um, you know, laws be established, sometimes through education. Like Beach Guardians Atlantic Coast, what, what our goal is, is to have people all different ages in all different countries. Um, we want to connect them through the internet as one community, we think of the Atlantic coast, all around the Atlantic Ocean, as one neighborhood.